So I want to show you a quick way to create a little slidey tab, if you will, that you can put a lot of different content in. I've got links, you can put a lot of things in there, but it's really pretty simple. It's using CSS, HTML, and jQuery. So let me close this up and go back to, go to any text editor you've got and you can create an HTML page. And I'm going to go to the start here and show you what I did. So let me go to split view. So first what you need to do is you need to set up some kind of object, let's say a div, something like that with a style applied and put it somewhere on your page. Now, if you look up here in my styles, these are all internal, I know, and they should be external, but don't worry about that. Go to the style for that object and you know, class ID, it kind of doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to position it. So we're going to put a position of absolute on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery to change one of these values and then animate it. And then we're going to say, okay, from the top, I'll just put this in here real quick. So we'll say top, left, zero. Now what's going to happen is it's going to stick the upper left corner in the upper left corner of the browser window. I've got this ribbon, this box inside of a container, another div. So what I want to do is I want to have that, that ribbon rather be positioned within the white container here. If I go take a look at it in the browser, you'll see it's stuck in the corner. All right, so let me go back. So that means that my div that it's inside of needs to have some kind of positioning. It could be just about anything. So if you look up here, I've got this, you know, little fake um, style right here. And I'll just put position relative. And that's one of the tricks to get something to position within something else. So you can say absolute positioning within that object. And then there we go. It's going to position relative to that div now. Now what I can do is say, okay, from the top, I'm going to pull it up so we don't see all of it. So I'll say like minus 80 picks or something like that. And from the left, we're going to use a percentage or a set value or something like that. Whoops. So I'll say like 40%. And you can see it's kind of pulling it up a bit and there we go. Now I'm going to say minus 90 picks instead. There we go. All right. It looks a little better. You can put all kinds of formatting if you want to, et cetera, et cetera. Now the magic here is, yes, we get it set. Yes, we put a position of absolute. Yes, we put a two different values. They don't have to be top and left. They can be bottom and left or something like that. Then we use jQuery. If I come down to the bottom of my HTML page and you'll find the closing body tag here, we put our scripting down here most of the time because it just, um, it lets everything else load, okay? Now what we need is we need the jQuery library. So if you go over to the, and there's 50 places to find this by the way. Go over to the jQuery website, jQuery.com, click on download, and you're going to see that they have what are called CDNs, Content Delivery Network. You can use Google, Microsoft, there's a million. I'm going to use this one right here because it's first. I'll just copy one of these and you can see that it's got this uh, code in here with min, meaning it's been minified or smaller. Copy that, go back over to HTML. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste it right in, um, before the closing body tag. I'm going to put it right there. Now, after what we just pasted, we're going to put in these script tags and type this like this, because this is how jQuery starts to kind of set up. This is where the magic happens. It's saying, all right, do something to our page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, when somebody hovers over the ribbon, this object, I want to move the ribbon. I want to animate it. So come down here into your script. Let me zoom in and move down a little bit here. We're going to start it this way. We're going to say, okay, let me type this in. If you really... I am just, I'm notorious for, and there's a lot of ways you can do this, by the way, and, oh, wow. Just type it in after I'm done, by the way, okay? <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes. All right, we're saying, okay, if somebody does something to that ribbon object, and that can be, that's the style name, essentially. It can be a class, it can be an ID. We're going to say, okay, if they hover over it, hover over that, we're going to do something, and this is your, you know, generic function. So I'm going to say, all right, do that. Then we're going to say, okay, for this... And this means the ribbon. So if you ever, you know, put this here and then say this, it's referring to that. So saying if somebody hovers over the ribbon, we're going to take the ribbon, and it's just a, kind of a shorter way to do it, so you don't screw it up. And we're going to animate it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it some options. And there's a lot of ways you can write this. You can kind of put it down if you want to, or across. We're going to say I want you to change the top CSS value to zero, but animate it. That's the idea here. We're going to animate this thing. And then what we can do is we can say, oh, you know what? Let's put a, whoops, let's put a, um, come on. <laughs> let's put uh, a, a speed, if you will. So we can say slow, fast. There are also easing functions and a lot of things you can put in here to make it start faster and slower, things like that. 
All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, if somebody hovers over, animate it that way. Now we need to make it to where if somebody hovers off of it, set it back or do something different. So now I'm gonna put another blank function in here and we're gonna say, okay, same thing. We're gonna say this and you can copy all this if you want to. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just be kind of industrious here and just paste this down here. We're gonna say, okay, we're gonna put it back where it should be. And we had it at, I think, minus 80. You want this number here, which is just changing your CSS top value or left or bottom. This doesn't have to be top, you guys. This can be a lot of different things. You can also put in other things like opacity and whatever else you wanna do and you know, kind of comma separate them. But we're gonna say top, I want you to put it at zero. Don't make this number bigger than the height of the object if you're using top because it'll slide it all the way down unless you want to do that. Make sure that this value here, which is the return, what it's going to look like when they move out or mouse out, is the same value or close to the same value as your CSS. And then I'm just going to finish it out here and kind of put the rest of the squirrely tags. And there we go. So once again, if I look at my CSS, you're going to see top, whoop, I've got minus 90, so I'm going to make sure that that one matches this one. So I'll come down here and put in minus 90, and then we can try it out. I'll save it. So take a look at it and there we go kind of cool so you can kind of play with it you can do different things if you want to and of course you know if you have a responsive design it's going to be able to kind of move with it you can set the width to be responsive different things but there it is pretty simple stuff with jquery